below back strength, the below back. Ugh. Come on, Asia. Hey co friends, it's underscore sincerely Asia and I'm back at it again with another video and ooh, get in there girl. Let's take a minute to enjoy this twist out though. This video is basically going to be a quick chat through. I'm going to try to keep this like a real fast out, like under five minutes fast talking about my hair growth journey. A lot of people have asked me about it, how I grew my hair so fast. I mean, to me, I did not grow my hair that fast. I think it grew at a regular rate. Um, just when you see side-by-side -side pictures, it tends to make things look like they happen really fast. That's why for my thumbnail, I wanted to make sure I put my growth by year, not just like a when I cut my hair in 2015 and now, because of course, people don't, it doesn't register with you guys that it happened, you know, a little bit every single year. Let's just dive right in. I did, I'm keeping the picture right here so I know, you know, it brings back the memories of what I'm gonna talk about. So in 2015, I decided that I wanted to cut my hair on a whim. I had, just like most girls, gone through a breakup as well as decided to join the Army National Guard, so I just had a lot going on. Um, my hair did not curl. I had no curl pattern. I've been straightening my hair for years, every week, by myself, um, very unprofessionally, no heat protectant, just I wanted my hair straight, so that's how I kept it. Um, I went to the Florida Agricultural and Mechanical University, so of course, when I pulled up to the school, everybody had froze, everybody had curls, everybody was big chopping or had afros, and I wanted to, you know, be one of the girls. Not only that, but the last time that I actually went to get my hair professionally done, which I would do about once a semester, I would go to my same stylist who I always went to, Kinks, um, who did my blowout video, we'll tag that below. And um, she actually told me the last time that I went that my ends had split to my roots and she would no longer do my hair in this state. My hair was so unhealthy um, and there was no, it was so unhealthy that there was no way basically to reverse it. I would have to cut my hair or she just wasn't gonna do my hair anymore. So I had that on my mind, as well as wanting to have a fro like all the girls in college. So when I went home that semester, I cut all my hair off and then proceeded to get into wigs, y'all. I was so into wigs. I used to change my wigs up way this faster than you're supposed to. I used to switch my wigs up like I was a celebrity. I would change my wigs every two, three days. I was always buying wigs. Then I discovered frontals. I was wearing frontals all the time. And I did not put heat on my hair for two years. Two years, I did not put any heat on my hair. No blowouts, no straightening, I just, you know, let it grow. I almost always had a wig on and when I did it, it was only for like two, three days to let my hair breathe, whatever that means. And so I always kept a wig on. That was 2015 and 2016. In 2017, I finally got my first blowout from Kinks and my hair was beautiful. It was shoulder length. It had so much volume. It was so thick and had so much body and it lasted the full two weeks. Um, and then when I went to wet my hair, I'll attach a video because I actually have videos of the first time that I got my blowout. Um, reverting back, at that time, I wasn't doing influencing like this. I was just, you know, showing my friends on Snapchat or on Instagram, basically my little journey. I did like a little, a little revert video and then that was when people first started asking me questions about my hair, 
how I grew my hair, what I did, and I really just left it alone. I didn't use any special oils or anything. I was using the regular starter pack that All Naturals had, the Cream of Nature, the Shea Moisture, and the coconut oil. If you were a natural, that's what you had and that's what you were using. So that's all I was using. I was just keeping my hair braided down under my wigs and under my sew-ins. That's how my hair grew so fast. I really do contribute it to just leaving it alone. In 2016 is when I started really getting into my natural hair. I really started to watch YouTube videos, try to do different styles. I was trying wash and goes. I had a really close friend of mine who like really liked doing hair she used to do twist outs for me and braid outs she used to detangle my hair for me shout out to her that's when i really started getting into my natural hair and just you know starting to feel it out people were starting to ask me more questions about what i was doing um finally like and it doesn't seem like a lot of people y'all but like six people asked me about a wash and go how do I do a wash and go what are you doing like how are you getting your hair to do that for a wash and go that's back when I had this like the little, I used to have a little mushroom it was so cute yeah. I loved that mushroom my hair used to just grow up to the sky now it grows down gravity has taken over in 2018 is when I made my first natural hair video um, shout out to Brie. Um, she really encouraged me. She was like, this is something people definitely want to see and I'll help you film it. So you guys, when I tell you that first video that's still up on my IGTV, my girl held that camera up. We had no tripod, no nothing. She held that camera up with her hands and just held it steady for, I kid you not, like 20 minutes while I did my wash and go. Then we let it dry, stayed over her house, we ate, we talked, and then she filmed, like, we filmed the intro, the outro, or however we did it, but that is my rider. Like, that was my first video that I ever made, and she filmed it with her own two arms. Child. Couldn't have been me. That's a good friend. But then, fast forward to... The beginning of this year, I had another friend, Kate the Great. Y'all probably know who she is. Who she is. She's like famous. Um, but Kate put me in contact with Impressions of Beauty, an agency type component for um, influencers, up and coming, college age, college demographic, young adult demographic influencers. I applied for that. I got um, into that program and then that's how I actually started getting into making more IGT videos and then transitioning into YouTube as of four months ago. Basically like my hair journey was really my life journey. Like I did not start taking care, like taking care of my hair until 2017. Yeah, I did not start really putting forth the effort to decide what products work best and decide, like figure out porosity until 2017 that's when i started doing lint checks and figuring out how to trim my own ends i contribute most of my hair growth to me literally leaving my hair alone for those first two years i did not do anything to it but keep it braided down and keep my scalp greased with like actual hair grease that we used to use when we were kids i kept my hair away those first two years and I think that that helps so much with hair growth just leaving your hair alone and fast forward to now I'm on this new journey that by the end of this year I want to be past bra strap length right now I'm like hitting right at the top of bra strap length so with regular trims I'm pretty sure that I should be able to get down to below back strength the below back Bra Ugh, come on Asia below bra strap length by two by 2020 to that first two years you figure out a style that is actually low manipulation and you stick with it then my next tip is to make sure you're keeping your hair moisturized from the roots to the ends and do not just 
pick any oil find one that works for you it's not going to be very hard to figure out which oils work and which oils don't coconut oil is not for everybody I stayed away from heat and you know my hair did its little thing there are people who have grown their hair way longer than mine in the same amount of time so I don't think that my hair growth journey is like that spectacular but I am very proud of my length like I am proud of you know I'm proud of my hair so I just want to make sure that you are being proud of your hair too that's it I don't think I have any more to say thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed see you in the next one